Today what we're going to do is we're going to take Noah's chair, thank you to Innovation in Motion again for donating this, we're going to make this chair right in here into an individual mobile pop-up tying blind for Noah, simply by using the chair and a pop-up blind that we bought from Dunham Sporting Goods, it's like $80, it comes with a fold-up pop-up uh, camping chair already built in it, we went ahead and tried it, Noah can transfer out of his power chair or his manual chair into this chair and put the blind around him, but then his wheelchair is sitting somewhere out in the middle of the woods. So at this point what we want to do is we want to incorporate one into the other and it was really simple and really easy. First thing we have to do is get rid of the headrest. It may not work for everybody, but Noah doesn't need it. And that will just slide right off. Next we're going to take the handrail off the back side so that doesn't get in the way of the, the back of the blind. Next we took the hacksaw and we cut the chair off right where it mounts onto the side of it. Once we got that done, we went ahead and drilled holes to the remaining part of the handle of the block. We went ahead and took the protective caps off the bottom side of the handle. Right there was our we took the black caps out of there so that rod would go in there and drill the hole to line up with that hole to hold the blind in place. So all we have to do is take where we saw off the side of the chair from the blind, place them in. Line up the hole. One side secure. Do the same on the other side. All right. Then we'll swing this chair back around so you can see the back side. On the back side of the blind, I went ahead and melted and, and reinforced the holes on the back side of the blind where the handle went on. So we'll put the handle back in place, just in case he does get stuck. The other thing this does that keeps the blind when he lifts it up over his head from coming too far over. Now another modification that has to be done is we cut a piece of PVC pipe, notched it up for the handle and drilled another hole in it. And we just slide that over the handle. What this rod does here is it prevents the blind from going too far and falling all the way down behind them. Then at this point, it's all ready to go. Noah can just transfer into the chair. Once Noah's positioned himself and he's in the chair, everything is all right here at his side, ready to go. He can drive himself around. Everything stays clear of his tires for now. He doesn't have anything to do. He can go wherever anywhere the chair wants to go. And he goes hunting. Then once he gets to where he wants to go hunting, just simply has to shut his chair off, reach over his head, close his chain zipper, pull the blind down. He can open up the big window. The other advantage Noah would have over this operation rather than a standard blind, as long as it was far enough away and couldn't hear, if the animal was in a position where Noah couldn't turn his body, he could turn the whole blind where he had that position to shoot that he needed if he can't twist his body far enough. So, hope this guy helps you guys out, and good luck to everybody else.